Generic greetings and welcome to Construction plus Prison Architect plus High Risk episode 16. So, in the last episode I was constructing this, which is our new sort of cell block. We already have two, we got one at the bottom, one at the top, and then we have this one here, which is similar to this one. Uh, it's a little bit sh a little bit shorter for various reasons, uh, mainly because I messed up the planning, but, you know, it is a little bit shorter. But we have the security in, or we, at least we have the security office in, and we have all the cell blocks top and bottom. So, you know, it can, it can hold pretty much the same as this, I believe. I haven't actually counted it along it might even hold more because of that and the fact that I haven't um, I haven't got a, a big wide area like that so this is probably I haven't counted it, but this probably holds more than these so I'm going to put in things like a shower and a common room as well but uh, the main thing is having a shower I'm not really too bothered about the common room that could always go through this little section and use these common rooms here but I'm definitely gonna have an area for phone booths and TVs we're gonna have a little common room we might not have all the pool tables and such but we'll see um, that is not really my concern at the moment because this is now running on alpha 9 so um, I need to convert this over to make it conform to the, that sort of standard, uh, as it were. Obviously, the low risk prison. I'm assuming you watching. I, I assume you watch the low risk prison uh, episodes as well as the high risk ones. So on the low risk, low risk ones, I've already started converting it. So I have a laundry in there. I've got some other things as well. Um, but th that's a very different prison to this. Uh, not just aesthetically. It's also you know very different in terms of the type of prisoners we have. Obviously, this is high risk. So. Because of that, I will not be having any prisoners in the kitchen, and I will not be having I, I won't be having any cleaning cupboards because I don't trust prisoners not to steal the acid and then pour it down their friend's neck. So I, I don't trust them to do that. So I will be having a laundry because you sort of need a laundry. So I'm going to move this power switch back over, make a wall, and then have this bit as the laundry because it's pretty much the center of the prison. I think that's the best. Th I think that's the best uh, best thing we can do. I may have a workshop. I haven't decided yet. For a start, I don't know where I would put uh, said workshop because don't really have any room in here. That's going to be another cell block. Maybe a little bit of a workshop there and there. That's pretty much the only place I can put it. But then, then again, I don't really trust, you know, this guy here to, uh, you know, not shove his friend's um, face into a, one of them big bench presses. I don't really, I don't really trust him, so I might not have that. Either way, that's not really my concern at the moment. Uh, let's just unpause the game. Uh, if you can see from the uh, bureaucracy tab, I've already started researching our prison labour, so we can get, uh, so we can easily get our um, laundry in. Uh, it's eat time now. In fact, I'll need to change our regime slightly. I'm going to have a shower time. Uh, when should we have shower time? Probably near the end of the day. I think we'll have it at. Um, I think we'll have it at 9, and then we're going to have another bit of free time after that, so we'll have, oh no, we'll have 2 hours of free time, and then we'll have shower at 10, 10 o'clock, and then then go to bed, because I don't think they need as much sleep as they're actually getting, let me just check the needs for a second, sleep, no, not really, we'll try and cut an hour of sleep off and see what happens, in fact, I could put an extra bit there, no, that's fine, anyway, then we're going to leave, then we're going to change all this to work, um, and we're gonna. The reason for changing all of this to work is because we do need to have people moving the laundry about. Uh, let's just pause it once more. You see, everybody's in here eating away. Um, I say everybody's eating away. There's not many people eating, but it doesn't seem. I don't think they really want to eat. That's fine. Not a problem. I'd rather. I'd rather leave the food and waste it than complain about being hungry and then kick the crap out of the prison. So uh, utilities. Let's move this. We need to move this power switch. We need to dismantle that and then put it probably. Actually, I need to put it there, to be fair, so I need to, I'm need. i going to have to demolish bits of this. Anyway, unpause it so they can actually come along and do it. I'll need to put it there. So I'm going to have to route these power cables around. So I need to dismantle that, 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 and that. And then I need to run electrical cable down and up like that. And the same thing here. Like so. In fact, I don't need to dismantle that. I need to keep that one there. Dismantle them too. And then we'll put the power switch... Uh, spin it around there. I think so, but I'll wait until they've dismantled it first. So you can see there, it's all planned out. Uh, we should have the workmen coming along shortly. They don't really have anything else to do. Which way are they going to take? Oh, they're going to go through the kitchen with the dirty, grubby hands and such. Oh, well. So yes, I'm not going to have any any prisoners in the kitchen. Unlike the low risk, which I am actually going to change so they'll uh, we'll have prisoners in there. I'll have prisoners pretty much running the whole thing. The problem with this prison is that, as you can see, cash flow is minus 1,076 because they're fixed, and I'll, you know, lose that. I'll, I'll uh, use that term lightly. Uh, they fixed the way workshops work. Um, 
That's not a dig, by the way. It, it was broken before. It didn't... Or it, broken? Is it the wrong word? I don't know. It wasn't working as intended. So, you know, read into that, whatever you will. Um, it wasn't working as intended. There's no way you should have been able to just place workshops and get loads of money. And they've sought that now by you actually have to put prisoners in it, which is quite good. Um, I still rather get optimization so it doesn't run like a bag of crap. Although, to be fair, that might just be my rubbish PC. Um, oh, look at that! Yeah, I never noticed that before. See, I know I know in the patch notes, uh, pipes and such come in... Um, pipes and such come in, like, crates. I didn't... I, I thought... Uh, I know electrical cable came in uh, some sort of container, but yeah, look, they've actually got a cable coil. I like that. Right, then we'll fit all this in, and then we'll have power, and then we can wall this off. In fact, you know what? I'll tell them, start telling them, I'll tell them to do that now. So we're going to do that all the way along. And I've just noticed something. I'll click deployment, and pro probably just alter that patrol, because um, it's not ideal, is it, going through the wall? Probably not the best thing for that guy to do. There we go. Look at that. He automatically figures out that he's walking nowhere and then just turns around. Excellent. Lovely. Right. Uh, let me just check the deployment, actually. Is there anything that's a bit dodgy? Uh, no, we've got all that as workers only. Uh, we've got all that staff only. Actually, let's assign a guard to that. And a couple of guards to this for now. And then we'll patrol just for the time being along, down, and then back along, like so because we do have prisoners arriving. I'm still not changing that. We've got prisoners arriving in 11 hours, so, you know, we'll keep that as is. I think that's all right. We'll, we'll no problem at all. We'll change this to uh, Gen Pop. There we go, so people can use that. Um, we'll have this uh, staff only, and that, and that. There we go. I think that's about right. Uh, could have that staff only as well. Yeah, why not? <laughs> now we'll change it to uh, Gen Pop, even though we don't really need to. Gen Pop? Yep. Gen pop. There we go. And change all this to staff only as well, all the way around. There we go. Lovely. And that. And that. And that. And, uh, and that. <laughs> I think we're about done. Yeah, we're about done. <laughs> Excellent. Right. So, have they done that? Oh, they've done it. Excellent. Uh, they still haven't put the power in. Why haven't they put that in? Idiots. Right. Uh, let's go to our room. We'll just get rid of that for now. We don't need that bit. And what I need to do is put... Um, what do we need to do? We need to put in uh, perhaps a jail door. Put a jail door in there and there. Just so the guards can get into here when they need to. We'll put a large jail door. Uh, where should we put it? Just in the end. Just there, I think it'll do. There we go. Uh, and that'll be... This'll be our... Um, this will be our area for... Oh, hang on. I've just thought of something here. This will be our laundry area. Uh, let's just have a quick look at our power requirements. Power's fine. We're doing we're doing fine for the power. Right, so these are going to put them doors in so we can actually get in and do something. Uh, we need to change the floor to white tiles. Like so. And then we will put our other things up top. We'll put benches along the side. Carts here. And we'll put some uh, benches, I think. We'll put some benches in, yeah. We'll put some benches in. Uh, where should we put the benches? Uh, put them down the bottom. I'll right, put it down there and there. I might as well. And then I'll put the carts down the side. Can't, don't have them at the moment, though. They're not unlocked. That's okay, though. Right, and then we'll put the laundry at the top. I don't think we'll need any more than just uh, the one, two. We'll have four at the top. I don't think we'll need any more than that. If so, if we do, I can put them anywhere else, elsewhere. Although you can't spin them round, which is a weird bit. Don't know why. Oh, they're all in the shower. Hang on, why is that Why is that in shower? Pause. Shower? Oh, it's because I changed it to shower time, didn't I? <laughs> I just forgot about that. Um, yeah, I normally, just not, I normally don't have shower time, so uh, I've had to change that now because obviously the, that's when they change their uniforms. So, you know, we've had to change that. Anyway, there's workmen coming along. I'm going to uh, knock down... Well, no, they're going to rip this floor up. There we go, just open that up for you. Rip the floor up and put some nice new flooring down. Uh, how long until we uh, get our... Let's have a quick look. Uh, our prison labour. Oh, it's already approved. Excellent. Excellent. Lovely, Jubilee. That's what we like to see. We'll just pause that. There we go. Put a couple of laundry machines down. Oh, I was actually getting five in there. Don't know why I'm whispering. That's just don't know, no point in that at all. Uh, laundry baskets. Let's put one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And then we will make sure that it is powered because, uh, well, it needs to be powered. Job done, really, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> that one switches 
that, them on as well as uh, you can switch you can switch them off from that little power switch there. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, uh, unpause it, and then we will go to deployment, I think, and we will set our jobs. Uh, oh, we do, can't set it yet because we haven't we haven't put the lawn, the uh, washing machines in. Oh well. Um, oh, I don't like that. That looks terrible. That looks horrible. Let's 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 sort that right out first. There. Uh, where's our tiles? Uh, white tiles. Put some white tiles in and there and there and there. Lovely. Hang on. Is that a bench? I don't want benches. I don't want benches. I want tables. That's what I meant. I want tables, not benches. Because <laughs> that'd be silly. Benches would be just stupid. <laughs> don't know why anyone would do that. <laughs> Oops. Right. So, all the guards uh, keeping this place safe, yeah, and all the prisoners are in bed. Lovely. Um, one thing I haven't figured out is where I'm going to put any um, visitation area. Or if I'm even going to have a visitation area. Do these prisoners deserve visitation? Actually, that's the, wrong, that's the wrong thing again. That's judgmental. We can't be judgmental. Um, where would I put visitation? I'm not too sure. I could put it there. That'll probably be the ideal place. Actually, put them either side there would be the best place for it, wouldn't it? Put the visitation areas there. I think that's what we'll do. We'll put the visitation areas here and here. Getting to them, however, is going to be difficult because I'm going to have to have this as... Well, I don't know. I, don't, I actually don't know, mainly due to a lack of research, to be honest with you, on, on my part, um, whether the prisoners are allowed to freely walk into the visitation area and freely walk out of it, or the guards have to take them there and bring them out. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look into that, because if the guards have to take them there, I can keep this as staff only, which is what I want. I want this as staff only so that, you know, the staff have a, you know, a good place to go around. That was the original idea. It hasn't really turned out that way, because the bit, this bit here, which was staff only, is now changed to, well, you know, prisoners as well. Um, although the bit on the bit around the outside, that's still staff only, so it's not the end of, end of the world, the end of the prison, if I have to change this to... Uh, prisoners. What I'll do is I'll just block it off there, and then uh, this cent this centre bit here is where the uh, the people the people have to go anywhere. To be fair, it's pretty much where they walk. The only reason they're walking this way is because they don't have to go through that jail door. So anyway, um, oh yes, water. This thing requires water. That's one thing. Let's pause that for a second. Utilities. We're gonna have to drag the water pipe up here now. So we'll drag it into um, about here, and then I oh, will drag it up to the centre. Why not? And then we'll run a water pipe. Um, up and then along to them and then we'll put a water valve there just so we can turn that water off when needs be and then we'll speed it back up excellent going okay um, I do like the new art it has to be said because all these icons are more pronounced I think is the proper term it might not be the proper term but the, you know it's it's more you can see them a lot better um, you know, when, especially when you click on here the, all the different colors and such it's a lot it's a lot brighter I like it I like it it's quite nice yeah you wouldn't think it was an introversion game. It's not blue, is it? It's not like just all blue. All of, there's a lot of blue, I'll be fair. Blue print. <laughs> but them aren't blue. Which is which makes sense, I guess, you know. Well, blue 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 would look okay. But after have, having them as the colour, I like that. I do like that with different colours and such. Uh, easy to see. Although to be fair, I keep missing things anyway, so whatever. We still haven't got anything for that bookshelf. The still bookshelf is, still doesn't do anything. It would be good to, to make that do something. Uh, get on that, yep. <laughs> um, we have a visitor table, we have a workshop saw and a press. Don't know why the visitor table... Is the visitor table classed as... Was that locked out through bureaucracy? I don't I don't know, I don't think it was. The workshop saw and the bench press definitely were. But, uh, you know, not really a problem at the moment. Anyway, uh, these prisoners... Uh, the prisoners? These uh, workmen have almost finished putting the laundry machine in. We've got still the pipe to do and the... Three pipes here and the pipe valve there. Um, and apparently he's trying to wash the stack of pipes. <laughs> no, 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 they'll figure that out now. Horrible place to store things like that. <laughs> what's, what's up with that door? What's, what is going on with that door? Why is the... There we go. That guard was being a chock at it. He's <laughs> being used as a chock to keep the door open. Right, anyway. Back to n normal progress. So... We have this all put in. I should be able to go to deployment now and assign jobs. Apparently not. Why not? Why can't we assign a job to this area? Ah, oh, it's because I haven't designated it 
obviously, as the laundry. That's why... There we go. Now it's laundry. We can go to our deployment and set it as job as max 10. How many carts do we have? Six carts. One, two, three. That's guards. <laughs> Jobs. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know what would be better? If there was that circle and then a number in the center of how many there was instead of counting on like that. For guards, it's not too bad. When you can assign like up to ten jobs, uh, you know, it should... It, I don't like it where it's, it goes off to that. It should be just there. And then if you've got another one, it might stack on top and then you see like another little ring outside. You know when like you see, you know, pogs stacked up. I've totally blown people's minds using the word pogs. You know pogs? Oh, when you stack poker chips up, you get this the little little symbol. They do it on several games. Like, there's a couple of games that do it. Uh, I'm trying to think of one now. Ruse does it. When you stack up loads of people on Ruse, you get like a stack. And you can see the stack, you know, like a 3D stack. I mean, obviously this isn't a 3D game. It's sort of, well, what is it? Is it isometric? It's isometric, I guess, isn't it? 2D. It is 2D, but it's sort of 2D isometric. You think I don't know what I'm on about. It's it's weird. Anyway, it's it's not 3D. But either way, in the deployment, instead of having like you know um, all these jobs like that, you should just you know sort of stack the stack these off and maybe offset them in a little bit, or just have one just a circle like that and then a number in like that. That just have one of them like that, and then just a number. That'd do, I think. That'd be fine. That would be that would be perfectly fine. I feel myself tweeting again. <laughs> I keep tweeting uh, IV and go, yeah, yeah, you should put this in. And, you know, they'd, they'd probably ignore me. No, that's a stupid idea, Andrew. You're talking rubbish. Anyway, I'm not a game designer. So, you know, I'm sure there's reasons why. Uh, maybe maybe Alpha is Alpha and that's why it hasn't been done. Or it could be working on other things. Who knows? Anyway, we have uh, a couple of hours, uh, two hours, in fact, until prisoners turn up. Let's speed up a bit. And when the prisoners turn up, we will have to escort them to their new cell block. The cell block, which I have unfortunately neglected. Let's get a shower put in. Uh, let's, I'll pause it for the moment while I put the shower in. So a concrete wall. Um, let's go for a shower like so. We'll go. We'll have the entrance there. And we'll go up like that. And then I think we'll basically just go one, two, three. Uh, oh, do we have it like this? I don't know. No, we could really we could do. We could put it in the centre a bit more, couldn't we? Um, how big is this? Is it three? And then, yeah, it goes like that, doesn't it? Um, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's work this out. It goes three, then up. Like that. And then, like that. And then, I believe, like that. Somewhere like that. Uh, or is it a bit wider? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Undo that. Make it seven, because this is slightly bigger. In fact, I should, I should bring it further down, but no, I like it like that. That's fine, and then we'll go white tiles um, all the way along like so. Oh, no, like that and like that, and then there. And then we'll also, well, we'll start it now because then they can get on with that while I plan the rest, which is fine. And then we can go to, oh, we've got flash in there. we got two hours until they turn up. That is fine. And we can go to drain, shove a couple of drains in like so because we don't want water leaking all over the place. And then we'll put the shower heads in, spin them around three there, like so, and we'll spin it back around to the side and put them all along the side. I am aware that you can just put it anywhere you want, but I just for some reason I have a habit of putting them along the side. In fact, since we have shower time, um, since we've got shower time now, I think it would be beneficial to put a couple more in, especially around here. Although, don't, don't really seem to need it, do we? Yeah, I'm still going to put them in three in there, spin it around three in there. They're not exactly expensive, are they? And then we'll put a bench in there. I think that is about right. Yeah, that'll do as nicely. I mean, I don't know if they actually use that bench, but, you know, it makes sense having it there. Oh, well, they're all talking to families and such. I'm going to have to probably deal with that visitation area sooner rather than later, I think. But, again, we'll have to see, won't we? Right, how's the utilities? Oh, perfect. The utilities run straight through it, including the power, to be fair. But, you know, that that's just... Let's just, just hope he doesn't put a drain right over the power. He is going to put a drain right over where the electrical cables are. I hope they're sheathed. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing the I'm guessing they're sheathed. I don't think anyone would unsheathe an electrical cable. That's quite um. <laughs> that would be quite sadistic if they did that, especially in a shower. Although you know, one of these one of these workmen might have a grudge. Maybe we've got a backstory. So this guy here, um, I don't know. This guy, Jonathan here, Jonathan the workman. He, what happened is his wife was uh, his wife and kid was uh, murdered by uh, one of these uh, high risk prisoners. So he went on a scheme of revenge. He went to a night course and uh, got himself 
a, you know, um, a degree in bricklaying and, uh, you know, laying bricks with a, um, with a, with, with a screwdriver and also got, you know, um, other, other things like sitting guilds in pipe laying and uh, plumbing and all sorts of things and trained himself up to be a workman. And then after six years of that, because um, obviously he had to do it part time at night school while he was, you know, working, you know, while he was working his other job as an accountant. He finally got all that done and then came to work at this very prison, the prison that the actual uh, murderer has been, you know, placed in there. He's, he's serving, you know, he's like 25 to life sort of thing. So, you know, who knows how long he'll be here. So the, work, the workman turns up and his overall plan, there he goes, Jonathan the workman, off to, you know, do his evil deeds. His uh, plan is to rig one of these showers so we've got the drain right underneath the power cable. Uh, wait until... The, uh, the murderer comes in, goes for a shower, electrocutes herself, dies, but then Jonathan doesn't get committed of murder because it is an accident. However, he will lose his job as a workman because of, you know, negligence and such, but they probably won't be able to trace it back to him per se, so, you know, there'll be an inquiry and such, but, you know, he'll, he might stay along, he might not get fired, and after a while he'll leave to go and get his job back in the accountant fulfilled, knowing that he has actually revenged his wife and daughter. Thank you very much for watching, take care, and generic partings.